for a better life for himself and his family in the late 70s. He struggled to find his any job for a few months. And just when he was ready to give up and return to India, he saw this ad. The Rooch was looking for electricians. He filled out this application. This job gave him the confidence and the security to bring the rest of his family over. It changed his life. It changed my life. Ford has always been about changing people's lives for the better. And we continue. I look forward to helping Ford succeed, and I'm proud to partner with them to transform cities, transform lives, and make transportation even more accessible. Every day, we're learning more about creating robust, real-world solutions that will benefit millions of people. Ford is a great partner, and we are proud to be working with them. Good morning, and welcome to Detroit where Ford will be creating the future of transportation. The stories you just saw are why I'm so proud to be part of the Ford Motor Company. One of the best parts of my job is hearing the personal connection people feel to our products and to our company. The passion customers feel when they buy their first Ford. The pride a worker feels to follow in his father's or his grandfather's footsteps. The promise an engineer feels that the project she's working on could change everything. Ford is a family company, and that comes through in the pride and the passion that our employees show every day. This is my 20th Detroit Auto Show as Ford's chairman. 20 years ago, many said automakers wouldn't build in America anymore. 10 years ago, many said we might not make it at all. And while others were focused on survival, I saw a tremendous wave of change coming our way. Today, that change is upon us. From how we build our cars, to what they run on, to the way we buy them, hail them, or even drive them. And with the moves we've been making these past few years, there's no company better positioned than Ford to lead that change in a way that you can trust. Think about it. Last year, we celebrated the 100th birthday of the Rouge, a plant that helped build the middle class and today makes the best-selling truck in America. And in that same spirit of rebirth, last summer I announced that we were buying the once beautiful Michigan Central Station. We, we will restore it to its form, uh, former glory and we will create the transportation system of tomorrow in Cork County. No other company can make a claim like that. We're not built on bailouts or hype. We're built Ford proud, and we're built forever. This year, the new products we're launching will give us the freshest lineup of cars and trucks in the industry. And today, you'll see two new versions of the best family SUV that's ever been designed, and one that shows our commitment to our customers. Or, if you prefer wide open throttle to wide open spaces, we're going to introduce the most powerful street legal Mustang ever. I hope you'll feel the passion that our team and our customers have for our products. It's been over 100 years since Ford made the freedom of movement available to everybody. Now, we're at the dawn of a new transportation era. And I've seen more startups, technologists, investors, and 
inventors flood into our industry in the past few years than at any time in my tenure. And we now have the opportunity to make people's lives better around the world, to create a sustainable future for our planet, and to deliver the best products to our customers. And on behalf of my family, we're committed to leading this change. And here to explain a bit more is the architect of our transformation, Jim Hackett. Being a family business grounds us in persistent values that are important as we navigate what must be the most profound shift in transportation since Henry Ford started the company. That grounding builds trust in our brand, and Bill and I believe there's nothing more important than that. Over the past year, I often talked about how this shift is about opportunity and optimism for Ford in the future. And today, I'm proud to say our team is turning this into action. Let's start with the sheet metal in this room. There's a terrific future for Ford in the business of building vehicles. By the end of 2020, we will replace 75% of our U.S. lineup. Let's underscore that. In the next 24 months in the U.S., we're going to introduce more trucks, utilities, performance, and electrified vehicles than we ever have before. Our new Ranger, it's red hot. We've heard from more than 288,000 hand raisers online already. These are F-150 type numbers. And this week, we're introducing our completely redesigned Explorer. And in the months ahead, you'll see a new Escape, a Super Duty Transit, plus our Mustang-inspired electric vehicle that I hinted about yesterday. And of course, the return of Bronco. It gets my heart racing. Now here's the thing. These vehicles are laying the foundation for a new way of thinking about mobility and our future. It begins with connectivity. We're connecting every new Ford vehicle to the cloud. And soon these vehicles will talk to the world around them and to each other through a technology called CV2X. This means our cars will be able to communicate with stoplights, parking spots, other vehicles, and more. The result is going to be an absolute game changer, leading us to less traffic congestion, fewer accidents, better parking, and a whole lot more. At the same time, they will have sensors that we could have, we could have never imagined. It's the equivalent of having eyes and ears on the vehicles. The integration of the sensors into the behavior of the vehicle is the real alchemy of turning straw to gold. And that will determine who wins in the future from my perspective. Talent, that's going to matter in that future as well. And we have that talent with our partner that you saw in Argo AI. They're world class in areas like robotics, perception, and a thing called DevOps. Well, today we're testing real living autonomous vehicles on the road in DC, Miami, Pittsburgh, and of course here in Detroit. The vehicles, the connectivity, the network around it all. All of this is going to come together into an entirely new system. It's going to create new businesses that drive profits for the existing businesses and allow us to experience the world in new beneficial ways we can only imagine. This is what I meant by smart vehicles for a smart world. We're moving quickly, but we're also moving thoughtfully because this transformation isn't going to be easy, nor can it be taken lightly. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about capitalizing on a huge addressable market, it's about making lives better. I and over 200,000 employees around the world get to come to work every day with that inspiration driving us. We felt it in Kumar's opening comments. In fact, a few weeks ago, I got an email from one of our employees. She told me that her daughter was recently driving home, likely wasn't paying attention. She came around a corner, would have slammed into the car in front of her. She 
you wouldn't have seen it. But instead, the automatic emergency brakes on her Ford Edge stopped the car. She came away without a scratch, thank goodness. And what makes me proud is that we're building that capability, that braking system, into all of our vehicles. So it's available to millions of people. And of course, one day, one of your loved ones. This is what Ford is all about. We democratize technology. And there's no better example of bringing that commitment to life than the work we're doing to help police and first responders, which brings me to the first new vehicle of the day. Let me introduce you.
Explorer team with my family and introduce the all new Explorer Hybrid. As you can see, I've got a bunch of adventurous kids and we put this SUV through its paces. So I can tell you this is a no compromise hybrid. In fact, this vehicle reinvents the standard for what a hybrid can be. Thanks to a 3.3 liter hybrid powertrain that delivers 318 horsepower, this rear wheel drive Explorer Hybrid is fully capable to go off road and can tow up to 5,000 pounds. Plus, it's projected to return an EPA estimated range of more than 500 miles between Phillips. Incredible. We're proud that we are able to make the Explorer Hybrid a true no compromise vehicle. And now it's time to see what the performance version can do. Shelby G 
build. It's the all new Shelby GT500. I once asked Carol, what was his favorite Shelby? The Cobras, the GT40, which one? He said, the next one. Well, Carol, you'd love this next one. It's the same Ford Performance team that won Le Mans. They poured the heart and soul into this GT500. They gave it a unique hand-built version of our 5.2 liter aluminum alloy engine in our GT350 and a 2.6 liter supercharger built by Eaton in Athens, Georgia. It delivers <laughs> more than 700 horsepower through a dual clutch transmission that changes gears in less than 100 milliseconds. So this GT500 can go zero to 60 in the mid three second range and it'll turn a quarter mile at under 11 seconds. That's as much power as our actual brand new NASCAR Mustang race cars. But this one is street legal. The GT500 is so much more than just a zero to 60 performance car. It has the dynamics you would expect from the team that won Le Mans, Ford Performance. And the styling also delivers on that Detroit Swagger. It has the most downforce ever in a Mustang. So it's time to embarrass some supercars at a Ford price. This kicks off the freshest, strongest lineup of new trucks, utilities, electric vehicles, and performance vehicles we've ever delivered. And they're coming in the next 24 months. So, thank you for the opportunity to share just a glimpse of some of the great vehicles that are coming soon. We couldn't be more proud as a Ford team. And now I'd like to invite Bill Ford and the entire team back for a photo opportunity. And then after that, come on up and take a closer look. Okay, come on. Thanks, guys. Go, go, go.
Are you? from the vehicle with the